So here is um, Wired Magazine's um, iPad app, the digital version of the magazine um, that just came out. And um, this is the uh, current um, June issue on newsstands. And as you can see, it looks gorgeous. I mean, look at this on this screen. It looks absolutely fantastic. This is a very, very high resolution. You can see all the details. Uh, and the magazine is very, very easy to uh, read and to navigate. You just um, scroll sideways like this, as though you were flicking pages. And when you come to a longer story that uh, you want to read, you um, scroll vertically rather than horizontally. Uh, and the um, navigation elements is here. There's a scroll bar at the bottom where you can scroll through all the stories in the current issue. And you can jump back to home. And the front uh, cover is linked to the um, different uh, stories inside. So here's the cover story, how Pixar works. Uh, click on it, it takes you to the cover story. And to read it, you scroll vertically uh, through the feature. And as you can see, um, it's very, very easy to read. This is a nice, you know, sort of not, not too much text, but not too, too little either. Um, and it has some very, very um, well done interactive elements. So for example, here's how Pixar builds a single frame. It starts with a sketch moves to a more detailed uh, um, uh, painting. Uh, here's a first um, stab at a, at a rendering and uh, more detail and then this is what it looks like when it's all done. And of course you can't do this in a, in a, in a, in a regular magazine. This is something you can only do in digital. I think it's actually really beautifully done. It's really, really well, um, well done. And here is um, seeing the um, animation in action with a video clip and uh, we can watch the whole thing or you can just click done and it takes you back to the magazine uh, and so there's a lot of content here there's um, the entire magazine um, and there's a lot to explore more interactive elements um, and it's created using um, Adobe's tools the same tools that the editors use to put the print magazine together so they're able to do both uh, simultaneously the, 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 the digital version and the print version. And of course, um, Apple banned Flash, but uh, um, they found, managed to find a way through this and create a, an interactive uh, magazine um, that doesn't rely upon um, Flash technology. And I think it's very slick. They've done a really, really good job. Uh, and it's obviously going to get um, better as time goes on. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of, uh, they've managed to keep a lot of the advertising. The advertising also scrolls through several pages. So yeah, kudos. I think it's a great job. They've really done. Um, very well, and I think this is probably the way that I'm going to be reading Wired Magazine from now on.